Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Dobe campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 11 from turn 82 in the autumn season of 206. So last episode, we didn't pass many turns. We took care of our roster. We're now completely filled with Shu Han officers, minus some special Burn Officer Corp right here. And our goal is to start moving into the Yi province. So we're going to take on Wutuku, which is a huge faction, by the way. They own all of this, and I assume most of this. Meng Hu and us are still at war. We're going to wait till Guan Ping's army, uh, which will eventually become Zhuge Liang's army, um, get fully replenished in two turns. And then they're going to move against these armies here and take this land. We're hoping that they would be able to take this for us. That would be nice. I think they are at war, yes. So there is that uh, hope right there for them to do that. We don't have much to do in terms of spies. We fired everyone who, well, we actually recalled everyone who shouldn't be part of us because none of the factions had any characters that we wanted. So we're gonna leave that off for a bit. We're actually, you know, kind of over our means right now. We have huge armies, but we don't have the income. So we're sustaining ourselves with tax levels, which means rebellions might become an issue. But right now, as long as we're positive, I'm fine with it. So I think this is okay. Nothing else really to be done. I feel like the buildings have been taken care of for the most part, except for here. We'll do a tea parlor. Or actually, let's get the tier three lumber first. We don't have the reforms for these, but once we do, there's a very nice construction uh, time discount. I don't think we're going down the green tree anytime soon, though, so that's probably not going to happen. All right, I think we're actually good. Let's continue here. Cao Cao's armies are attacking our capital, Donghai, capital in the Xu province. It's fine. They can take it. There is nothing for us to, you know, be sad about. Cao Pi's on the field. Collection of footnotes. Long Zhang, who was well versed in study text, commented the best Confucian works of his time. Okay, and we have Wang Long. I'm guessing that's Wang Long's son. I mean, his entire family are very, very good scholars. Anyways, let them take it. Two armies to take down our capital. This will restructure a lot of our trade. We might be very poor after. Yep. Oh, this is Nobel's um, civil war faction. We stole their leader. Now it's just a bunch of nobodies. And we can call their help because they would love to kill their civil war faction. We're getting schemed again. Minus 20 morale for Zhang Fei's army. That's not great. And our capital has shifted to Jiangxia because it's our highest level city. And that's actually decent because I believe... Ooh, Pang Tong came first. Once a visor to the Wu forces, Pang Tong is well regarded as a man of great talent. The fledgling phoenix hailed from the Jing province, but was dismissed from his post because he was ugly. Pang Tong has many recommendations to make, should you wish to hire him. Yes, he's, uh, he's infamous for not looking very pretty. Chain link strategy, chaining the ships for the Battle of Tribute. Uh, this has a new part uh, set. Parts of a set, so the set bonus here. Plus 25% range firing rate, plus 25% armor piercing damage. Wow. Okay, this is great. Now, what do we want to do with him in terms of where do we want to put him? I'm not sure. Ability-wise, these are all the in-game ones. He has flame uh, from the ashes. The healing ability uses 25% of his health to give uh, nearby or infinite everyone, all the generals on your side, extra healing, a lot more than 25% he sacrifice, and invincible for the 10 seconds. Very strong. Like, very, very strong. I think we'll do this, trying to get from the ashes quickly. We got the fondness, which is good. As for the army he's going to be in, I'm kind of tempted to switch this army up then, maybe. Maybe Pang Tong Zhuge Liang 
Bong Zhong. It's kind of an overkill strategist because the situation for us is if we do that, our other armies just don't have strategists, right? Mi Zhu is our other only strategist, unless we can pick up Fa Zhong. These are only strategists that we are going to have for a while, unless we can steal a couple that actually worked for us. Not true. I can take a peek at Yuan Shao's faction if we want. We're currently running negative. Part of the reason is the new character, the reorganization of the trade routes is not the issue actually. We lost the income from the city. The reason why it's not an issue is because this connects to a port, so we actually still maintain all our trade. The issue mainly is we lost a city with plenty of income. It's okay. We'll run we'll run a negative for a little bit. We're gonna hopefully conquer more land. Doesn't look like they're gonna pick up anything because there's a whole stack right here. Um, we are finally hopefully gonna build some unity soon. No need to be coy about this. We don't know what's up ahead. Looks like nothing. Okay, I mean, picking up Zhang Ku would be great. It's an awesome commerce commandery. We could keep attacking Cao Cao's land. I could take a policy of raiding rather than taking. This is a good way for us to make some money, in a sense. Oh, he took Hefei. Maybe he had this. He had it this whole time. They're not at war. He took care of a big problem for his brother. Let's just say that. Um, although raiding does have its costs, I think what we do is we move to here and we ambush first, or else we're gonna be stuck there. Actually, we're gonna be stuck there after the raid, anyways. There is no special garrison there. Yep. I think Zhu Godan in this army makes more sense. Hong Tong, we can split. Hong Tong, Liu Bei, Zhang Fei in the army. Guan Yu, Guan Ping, and Guan Yin Ping in the army. It's a weird army, I know, but they just have to defend. They don't have to do any weird attacks. We'll leave the Guan family in the Jin province. And everyone else go south. I'm going to leave them here because they need to go hit them. And then we might be sailing down. This is impassable, though, over here. So we have to land. We might have to get back into a war with Domin's faction, just because he still have the Han Empire in his pocket. Yeah, I can't do too much about that. Alright, we're gonna raid this for money. The sack value is pretty high. Oh, we don't have a siege weapon. That complicates a lot of things. Um, build one of these and continue sieging. And we definitely want to get started now. I can't afford another army, so we're not moving them out. They're going to pick up land for us soon. Build this up. Build this up. Hmm, please take it. I don't want this anymore. This is just costing us money right now. Alright, we're good. Let's continue. And the Sleeping Dragon, the first event. So, acquaintance came to visit after talking of various minor matters. They look serious. There is a great man and strategist called Zhuge Liang, the Sleeping Dragon. If you wish to gain his aid, seek him at his nearby home. So we heat the vice and try to visit his home. And you arrange a visit call upon Zhuge Liang to get a measure of him. And we'll be visiting him next turn. 
he won't be home and we'll try for three times until he is home. Oh, Yan Bai Hu is available, but he never worked for us. If he has items though, we will take a look at that. Ooh, Dong Xi, eight foot warrior. Eight foot as in height. Um, he is not that tall in real life, but it's a different measurement. It's Ba Zhang, right? It's a the foot unit used during the Han period. So not modern day eight foot. Uh, one of the 12 tiger generals of Wu um, was a famous ship commander. Nothing to do with us though, so we'll just ignore that. Yan Bai who has his weapon. So he is willing to spy, so he just left Omin's faction because he wasn't happy. We'll pick him up, take his gear, and let him go. Because if I'm, I'm not allowed to collect people, at least let me collect their weapons. And there's a newly added set bonus for it. Well, you're not going to get to use it. And thank you for all these items. As we're just going to kick you out right after. Alright, time to make ourselves some money. Ooh, they spawned a unit. So these are just added art, right? This is a new artwork. This looks, I don't know, this looks kind of similar. The, the background titles are all the same. I don't know, is this a new? Maybe this is artwork that I've never seen before, but this, this feels new. Alright, let's crush them. Alright, we have the perfect army set up for them. It's a foggy day, which is not our favorite because we have absolute range advantage. This is fine. I like the relative flatness here. We don't have a level 4 strategist yet, so no turtle formation. Um, it's going to be fine. Just a little bit of protection is better than nothing because the Nama units don't have a lot of range firepower. Why is this one not? I guess the shape of the spear wall is a little bit different from the turtle. For the turtle, if we stretch it out, it's usually pretty good spot on. There we go. And then the two extra will just put into the flank. Not like anyone's going to reach our flank. Fire arrows, fire arrows, F flaming shot, nope, negative on the flaming shot. They, they don't have any elephants. Yeah, I, I don't think that matters that much. Actually, can we put it on this side? The fire might spread and we might end up burning our own units. Take out. Oh, they're charging. Okay. Different different scenario then. Any duels? Ooh, three duels. Let's get some level up. We gotta go up to fight the duels. He could duel too, but um, I'd rather have Wei Yan pick up all the experience. I have full confidence that Wei Yan's going to win these. Uh, gets knocked down his horse. We have a gold weapon. They have a bronze weapon. 7%. Yeah, the stats are really bad. How do we lose this? I can't see how we lose this. They also don't have any relationships. It's a, oh, he does have two good abilities, though. Maybe we should just try to end things fast with uh, 11k damage in the face. There we go. And uh, fire everywhere. Juggernauts, activate. Wei Yan has ready one. The heal from winning the duel makes up for the health that he loses here. Pick up another duel. If that general becomes a threat, I will take him out. Okay. Okay. 
nobody can touch us. Finish her. Alright, how are you doing, Nifa? His charge killed a couple archers. Maybe it's just a splash from his attack, actually. That might be what happened. Oh, I'm getting shot by arrow towers as we speak. We're gonna just gotta wait till he finishes. Doesn't your brother have a... No, he doesn't. Oh! He had a fire arrow ability. But good job. Yeah, in romance, the fire weapons were reserved for Wutugu's unit because Wutugu was the faction with the rattan armor that was kind of, you know, impervious to regular attacks. Um, I have no intention of keeping them, so I guess we'll just release for now. He will give us a, It's not a big deal. Wei Yan delivers a warning. Captive prisoners to be released, but before their emancipation, Wei Yan delivered to them a stern and final warning. Should they be caught again, there will be no more pardons, only destruction. The captive flee silently, drained of color. So this is a story from the actual Zhuge Liang Southern Expedition. Being warned that this is your final chance, you know, seven captures. Why are you so unhappy, Mi Zhu? Aren't you the general of the right? Is that not enough for you? We want this. Capture chance would be nice too. But we're about to get that into the ooh, into the breach. Now let's try to get capture chance first so he doesn't have to get it. He can just get range focus into that. I don't know what to do with you. I guess this doesn't really help him. Because we can give this to anyone really. Let's see. That's good. Yeah, they can hold on to that and it will still get the faction wide effect. Diplomatic paid purse. Sure, we don't get the 10 points of cunning, but that's not a big deal. That's not the reason why I have it equipped. This way. I can give him something that can actually boost his satisfaction. Plus 5, plus 10% ammo. Luger's fan. 5 points is not enough. 8 points. But just not a special one. Yeah, it's fine. We just need the points to make him above 25. So he start, stop draining us over here. Okay, their inbuilding is good. It provides satisfaction. I oh, know it provides character experience, right? The yellow turban ones are the one with the satisfaction. We'll keep their version for now. We're just busy building our tax buildings. Mm, I don't think we need to send anyone to do anything here. And we'll keep conquering, try to get a bit more money. All right, we get to pick our reform. We don't have to focus on spies anymore. We could consider character salary reduction. We don't have that many character now, so this is not going to yield us much return for us. Corruption reduction, not really an issue right now. We were thinking about... We got that already. Vanguard satisfaction into campaign movement range. Or do we just go back to the regular economy build of the Onyx Dragon Rush?
This might be very helpful. Just 10 points of satisfaction. We get the character salary discount. This is a very weird approach to the tree, I have to say. I don't think I ever expected to go up all this way here. But I think it's it's fine. It's not terrible. Yeah, our economy is really just the tax building right now. So I think we'll get this first. This will save us a little bit of money. 800, still significant because we do have a bit of titles and people are in courts. So those salaries do add up. Okay, everywhere is building. This army is ready to go. The question is, where do we go with it? Do we have military access? Yes, we do. Okay. So I can march across his land to go fight Meng Huo. That could be the play. Zhuge Liang shows up, we switch him, right? Zhuge Liang goes to fight Meng Huo. It makes perfect sense. I, I, I can't take this right now. We need 50 points, so... A bit awkward. Yeah, we'll take this way. We'll, we'll trespass through. Oh, there they are. We'll fight them. We can finish our raid. I don't want to take this casualty here, so we're going to have to fight this, unfortunately. It'll be quick. Alrighty, so we're loaded in here, and it seems like this is the easier spot to go for. We don't have siege weapons, right? We have that tower. It's not really a siege weapon. And what we're going to do is get rid of him from it. I think we're just going to use Guan Yu, actually, to push it. We are going to assault the wall with it. Guan Yu is going to clear the wall for us. I have fire arrows. I don't have turtle because Dobe wasn't leading. Once he takes it, then we can do stuff. They won't be used. Are we going to have trouble with spear guards? I don't think so. I think Guan Yu will clobber them. These archers, like, we're ready for whatever comes through that gate. The God of War himself. Jump! Swing that blade. There we go. That's the move we want to see. Ooh. We need to see more swing moves to kill more units. But don't over chase. Brothers can join in on the fun. The towers were fired, but we do have one way of dealing with that. Can't let Guan Yu have all the fun on the wall. Nobody still got shot. Nonsense. I mean. It's not 360 degrees, I guess. Uh, Gwen's like, I'm done over here, guys. John Faye's like, 
let me have some fun. Yobei is also here. Let me work with one of you here. Oh, they're done. Okay, most of their units are done. That tower is captured. I think it's our moment to go down. And we're trying to kill the cavalry. If we can fight within this uh, wooden stake area, we'll be we'll be fine against the cavalry. But we have to get here first. We gotta get through this mess. Out of our way. Yep. He's scared. Oh, they let us take this gate. Ha. Huh. Okay. Different story now. Our cavalry can come in. Oh, right into those wooden stake. No, 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 not doing that. Oh, it's like, leave me a whole unit. And a big snack. You hitting? There we go. Going is first one to act. Jumpy, get down there. Oh, jump. Oh, Jumpy knew they were coming up. Oh. is actually pretty good with the splash damage, like the swings are pretty big. Who, who wants this guy in the corner? Nobody's like, I got it. Oh my god. He's like, let me, let me get up too. Oh, that unit routed already. Alright. Archers are back for round three. I think they routed like twice already. They're, they're waiting to route with 95 units. It's only so many times you can route in this game. I think four times is the max. Like even if you bounce back after the third time, the fourth time, like you're not gonna bounce back. You're not allowed to bounce back. There we go. Yeah, instant white, as you see there. I mean, yeah, we know the cavalry is coming. I want to fight here for obvious reasons. But their infantry has to oblige first. There's scare and terror going on right now. Guan Yu has the terror on this, and I think Zhang Fei has scare. So, uh,. That's it, right? Oh, come on. That'll make us walk. We could actually go fetch our horses. It's just right outside. That's okay. This isn't gonna, this isn't gonna take long. Oh, barricade. This might take a while. Wait, did, did someone just shoot a, 
bunch of arrows at us. Oh, traps on the ground. Ah, barely hurts. They nerfed those damage by 90%. It's only 10% what they used to do. Used to be deadly. Used to be called like grenades. Ah, getting shot again. How cute. Go, go. Confade with the fatigue immunity showing right showing off right here. I still can walk fast. It took a little longer than than a while, but uh, we got it done cleanly. All right, so here is where I'm gonna do a little bit of a different approach to sacking a city, quote unquote, because we could sack it and pick up about 2,389 income. It lowers by one tier, loses a bunch of population, and we leave. Or actually, we're just standing right next to it, still be Tal Tal's land. I actually think it's better if we occupy. Because now, well, this building is free. We demolish that one. We get 840 for demolishing the school, 750 for demolishing the state, uh, state workshop, 1050 for demolishing the, the forge. So that's about 2600 plus. And I can also downgrade this for 600 a pop. And then we keep downgrading it, and then we just throw the city away as though we're not going to defend it. And uh, we end up making more than the sacking money, and we also get to heal on this turn because the land is ours. Uh, Guanyi doesn't really need to rush for patience because he's never really going to lead because of the honorable situation. But um, we do want God of War, so still have to go this way. Okay, that was good. And now we are making a bit more cash, still negative, and we still have high taxes. It's it's not a great situation to be in. But what that really just means is you guys need to pick it up. Yep. Alright, let's continue here. I think we're good. He moved, he moved. They didn't move, but I don't think they need to move. If anything, they should stick with them, because the most difficult opponent we will face right now, at least, is the Duchy of Wei. They they teared up despite losing a piece of land. So far, it's working. Two duchies, part of the Three Kingdom. We trigger Three Kingdom, and it will be the th the correct Three Kingdoms. Um, what we need to do about them is I want this land to be ours. Any chance we can? trade for it it's not pricey to be honest it's very affordable and we're gonna pay for it with items with boring items because we have so many unboring items And then we'll throw him some cash. I know we don't have a positive income, but at least we have a bit of... Oh, it's so expensive. One food display, 1.1. It's a lot of money, I realize that, but... I really do want the entirety of Badong. And he's standing in my way with this land holding right here. Yeah, it's a deal. Trilla. Is it level one? Oh, it's level three. That's not bad. It's only a hundred per turn, but it's something. All right, we'll pick them off. Take this, and then we have to buy Wu Ling from him. This is gonna be too pricey. The problem is it's a city, right? So he's gonna value it too much. This will have to be some sort of war. I expect them to go to war with us sometime down the line. We'll take their capital away from them. So Changsha will be ours for a little while. And we'll also take Wuling at that time as well. They do have quite a few armies, but the quality, not that good. So not going to be too scared. All right, we're just going to burn this down and then pull away. Let's also retake it. And then we're going to fight his army to make a little bit of cash. 
All right, let's continue here. Oh, this is actually good. I think he only has one territory. Capital on a T means he's really weak. No, no need for help. And a scandal at court. So Liu Chong got hit. <gasps> Last turn was spring. That's a significant loss. Well, it's only two missions, but still significant loss. Yeah, when I did the reforms, it should have hit me. To be fair, I have not played Three Kingdoms in two weeks, but still, that's no excuse. Um, our first visit. You approach the cottage of Master Sleeping Dragon and knock on the door. His servant answers, but regrets that his master is not at home. Should you return another time, he may be in. Promise to return. So, first visit done. The Emperor send us aid. Thank you, Emperor. So this is huge. This turns our economy positive. So we didn't get anything good from... Wait, why is Liu Chong getting hit? Liu Chong is not in our faction. I, I didn't see it wrong, right? I think Liu Chong is the one who got hit with the... Oh my god, it's going to be so hard to find that one again. It's not diplomacy, it's like... Yeah, Scandal Court. Yeah. He's not at court. Sure. No one is unhappy. Keep burning it down. 600 pop. Retreat back. Let them take it whenever they want to. Oh, they chased away Menghua's army. Okay. That's fine. We'll proceed to our mission here. Lady Zhurong's next. Ooh, rebel army. Please take the city so I can take it. Meanwhile, we're going to get attacked from... Oh, they have two cities. But I want this first, so no excuse to not stop by here. It seems like allies down south, or at least non-hostile army. This is fine. We've got to walk back, so there's time to heal. Oh, that's actually pretty significant. The front line got ripped apart. Should have manually fought it, to be honest. But level 4. Very, very good. It's the towers that's doing the damage to us. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we do have time to heal back. It's a quite a long walk to them. It'd be nice if he showed where his army is going to be, whether here or here. That way we know which way to approach. If not, we're going blind. If I have to go blind, I'm probably going here first. Although that is an enemy land, it seems, right? The dot feels like it's enemy land. Mulu is down here. So is Shixie. Alright, we'll save Mulu for the end, because well, we're going to save Shixie for the end. Then you get wiped. He needs to die. Alright, I think that's all we can really do. Ling Ling. We don't have that much food, to be honest. Like, I can probably dip this down now. Things look a little bit better. Population's a big issue. We should upgrade it. Private workshop would be a really nice building here. Let me put him back for this, and then we'll do it. They can sit here for now. Come on, you're not going to take Donghai. Oh, they're going to take Donghai. Take it. Saves us 20. Oh, Gong Sun Zan's wife. This is worth spending some money on. We got to check his faction too. Xinping didn't work for us, worked for Yuan Shao and then Cao Cao. Zhuge Jin worked for Sun Quan, Zhuge Liang's brother. Tian Kai worked for Gong Sun Zan. Actually, we worked for him. Tian Kai was the administrator in this area in Pingyuan. We were in Pingyuan in the beginning. He's our boss in the very beginning of the game, or time, historically speaking. Worked for Yuan Shao. Nobody. Nobody here. 
Do you, do you have items? You're not on the battlefield. Okay. Plus 14. That's that's actually some defense. <laughs> Is it worth just stealing the wife though? That's the question. Mohua wants peace. He knows he's gonna lose that land. I don't want to give him that peace. That's not his capital, right? He has more land back. Oh, yeah, he, that's fine. I want to keep him alive until Zhuge Liang comes on the field. We'll, we'll always give the seven capture attempt. Hmm. Yeah, not much we can do. We could extract her and then fire her just for the set of items, but that also seems a little silly, to be honest. Like we're messing up Gong Sun Zan's family just for that. I mean, she, historically she's dead. Gong Sun Zan kills her before suiciding, right when they got defeated, not, not for any weird reasons. All right. Oh, okay. She's coming back. Go Jian. And she's MTU as well, so there is some unique abilities, but we're not going to keep her, of course. We are bringing her in. She's going to be ours. That item. Yeah, at least let me be a sucker for items if we're not going to be a sucker for generals. We're going to upgrade this next turn. It'll be the finish the same time with 10% saving on the building. Wait, Leaning also has a administrator, right? I forgot about this this whole time. So we could focus on, say, building time next turn. First, I want to give you a very nice high resolve weapon. Although population growth there is pretty good. Maybe expertise what we need. 12 expertise. It's probably the highest I can give you. Twenty-five percent, yeah. Farmer row for you. Hardy heavy. Uh, we don't have the hoe. <laughs> Zhang Lu's robe still doing work for us. I feel like this turn use this, and then builder next turn when we actually need to build stuff. Plus five public water. That takes care of the public water problem. Perfect. All right, he's doing his job. And we're hopefully we'll do ours. Let's continue. And Dong Hai is finally gonna fall. Balto picks up the Shu province. Good for him. He will pay us for military access. That's not what I want from you. I want two girls. Two young ladies. I can lower this by 25 just by beefing up relationship. If we ever get into a shared war, oh, he is. Cr we can oh, we can unify with him. We got we got to think about this. If if Sun Ce declares war on us, we're going to annex him right off the bat because we get 10 points of shared enemies. And that way we just have to promise him a bunch of payment and then it will be at negative 50 on the pinions. We will be able to confederate him and then pick up Elise Sun Ren because she's in the family. Lady Mi is not part of the family. So unless she's not, if she's on the field, we'll pick her up. If she's not on the field, then we have to keep looking for her. But that's something we should consider which means military access with you right now. It's not terrible. It's really not. We already have non-aggression, so it's not like we're going to war with them. 
but maybe what we want is a per turn payment. You only promised like a thousand something, so this is definitely the better deal here. Oh, come on, it's like 618, 418-ish. Maybe 19 if I push it. Yep, that's as high as it's gonna go. Okay, great news. Really, really, uh, uh, this is not great news, but this is also, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that kind of undid the Emperor's bonus with that scheme. No bully that we need to recruit. Two of them are not even there. The good news is one, Meng Huo's army is right here, so I know where to go with his army. And two, we don't have to trade for this anymore. Duo Su took it, which means we can take it from them now before they take it. So, so we gotta we gotta race. This is ours. I'm fairly sure this army should delegate really, really well. Because the front line is sturdy, we got cavalry, we got range. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about fighting it. We want to get these. We're going to get swift fingers. That's what make range units in his army so good. And then we're going to pick up these two. Yeah, we got to race to get to this. And then it's, it's perfect. Only thing that's wrong is Changsha. Huh. I'm going to try to give you flexibility. Keep tearing this down. 600 pop. So yeah, we made so much money off of this building rather than sacking it. And still will slow down the enemy as a buffer zone. This is no threat. Well, let Guan Yuan do whatever she wants. They're just bleeding out, walking on our land for some reason. Okay, so that's good. How do we catch a Meng Huo here? Wait, they're not showing me the, the army movement. 21%, 27%, 27%. I think we're in the... No, we're not in the circle of reinforcement. So we're just going to have to sit here. I can be aggressive about it. Fight me. We had a very stern warning. Alright, this is the upgrade this time. I could have built my tax building there, but figure I don't leave Tal with a good tax building. Wait, she came back in one turn? That was fast. Ooh, Wang Quan's faction have... um. Liu Qi. Wait. Oh, Zhang Yang's faction have Liu Qi. Misremembered. But let's see, who does he have? Nobody. So I guess... I guess we'll just extract and uh, look at items and then just catch and release, catch and release. That's, that's the game plan here. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Go back to your husband if you want, or else you're free. We were good friends back in the school days. You know, you know Zhao Yuan. Look at you guys. All right, no one new. You're free to go. Oh, energetic. 5% campaign movement. That's good. All right. I think we'll, we're generally okay. No real threats coming anywhere. And Sun Tzu is still behaving, so let's continue. Oh, gosh. This might be the first step towards him not behaving, right? Threatened to be our liege, we reject, and then in a few turns he goes to war with us. We'll be prepared for this. Let's reject for now. Okay. Second, vi vi uh, second visit. You return to the Sleeping Dragon's Cottage for a second visit. You meet Zhuge Jun, his brother, a uh, younger brother this time, as well as his adopted father. But not it's not the adoptive father. It's his father-in-law in the second visit. Anyways, 
but not the elusive one himself. This is becoming frustrating. I'm pretty sure in the book it's the adoptive father. It's Huang. I forgot his name, but Huang Yun's dad is the one you meet in the second visit and the younger brother. But we'll promise to return. The third visit when we get him. Should be... Actually, the second visit happened in the winter. Uh, in the book, right? Or and maybe historically. We also crafted another armor. This time just a silver. It's going to be a trade piece. Maojit, not not our guy. Quaidan's coming back. Yeah, these are not our guys. He has a gold armor. Well, you're coming with us. He should be with Tal Tal. I mean, I'm not gonna send spies to Tal Tal just to get make sure he gets the right generals. If they want to go, they can go. If they don't want to go, they don't have to go. He's quite good. The farmer assignment is quite useful. Like, should I? It's only one. Be like, basically, I send him in and then disown him, so Tal Tal can have him. Ugh. Give him land, and now giving him the right generals. Working overtime here. Alright, we can't reach there, and Meng Huo's army disappeared on us, so we're just gonna ambush here. They didn't wipe them out. But we're in a foot race with them to capture this. I can't let them win that foot race. I don't think they can reach, actually. But we can. Oh, wow, that reach is quite nice. So Duosu's army sitting here in the city. The map. We don't have siege weapons or else I would just go attack. We also don't have fire arrows. This is a very difficult battle. No turtle formations either. I have to just let them come and fight me. I have to be on defense. I have to just starve them out. This ensures that we take it rather than they take it, even if they come over here and help. The only bad situation is if they take this and then they retake it. That would be quite tragic for us. Are they really... They're gonna run. I don't want to kill her though. It's gonna be Tao Pi's wife. Now I can't. I have, there's no way I can help them get a marriage in the game. Like we can try our historical stuff, but like I can't force them to get married. I can capture both of them, have them marry, and then release both of them. <laughs> but that's way too much work. All right, the kids are getting bored sitting on the bench. We do have a bit of money. We should perhaps start planning for a defense situation here in case Sun Tzu makes a move on us. Um, oh, we have reached our army limit as well. That is a bit awkward. How far are we? <sighs> kind of far. Not gonna lie, kind of far from the next tier up. Uncomplicated. Guanxing. So Guanxing is in our children's pool, and we can pull him, but th that's quite a bad one to pick up. Anyways, maybe we can reroll it if I can remember to do faction council in the spring. All right, get this to level five. Heat tearing it down. Don't so need to tear up. Ling Ling has nothing to build until that finishes, so that's good. I could just let them go do some assignments instead of bleeding lack of purpose. But they will level up and have other issues. That's probably fine. Spend five unity so they get the satisfaction boost for five years. She can farm in Xiangxia because someone's ready farm. Oh, Wuling. Oh, we don't have the city yet. Uh, once we do have the city, though. That sounds that's fine. Be closer to dad. You can... I don't want to lose population, though. 
2K, okay, 2K we can handle it, I guess. So both of them will help the parents do stuff. Well, soon as you can leave, why are you still here? I guess he just came back. So many traits. All right, nothing too fancy here. Goodbye, go back to your dad if you want. Maybe Ponton should be, because we don't have an army slot, so it's not like he's going to go to any army anytime soon. Bump up some income here. Ooh, Zhang Ke actually is where he should go. There we go. We'll pick up that tea in the future. Alright, let's continue. Alright, Dosu obviously would want this fight. We also want them to come out and fight us. That's exactly how we want to do it on defense. So let's jump in here and end the episode with this fight. Raining. It's fine. We don't have fire. Hmm. Don't like how many trees there are here, though. Especially right in front of us. Guess this is the best we can do. Put this off to the side. Don't know who's gonna go light it. They have no cavalry. I don't even know why. We don't want this actually. Can I not? No, no, not put this on the field because the only thing that's gonna run into it is our cavalry units. Which also means I don't need to protect flanks. Put them in reserve here. Hide them. We're gonna be looking for duels actually. He can stay behind. His job is to boost all the range units with 50% um, firing rate increase. We want them to be all within the ability range. There we go. And we're gonna go look for fights. Go with Uncle Zhao Yun. Show you a good time. They might say no now, but after we smash them around, they might change their tune. And since the Nama has no range uh, cavalry units, there's really no fear of anyone charging into my generals trying to kill them. It's just not going to happen. Alright, nephew. Oh, someone has a bow. Nephew got shot. What am I going to tell you, dad? Alright, we hunt the range one. They don't fight back. That's how Uncle got thousands of kills. Alright. We don't want too many to swarm us. This girl is kind of annoying us. I got shot too. It's fine though. We kind of want to get rid of the hidden vipers, but I don't think we can. And there's a couple of spear in here, so we might run into those. Yeah, we've got to be careful about that. Yeah, let's see if we can get rid of these hidden units first. What ability do you have? Oh, final rush. I have a splash damage. What do you know? Yeah, this way they can't stay hidden because our units are... Oh, we got to slow it down. Because our generals are right on top of them. Smash! I'm going to just hold the cavalry in reserve because I don't need them. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just gonna show where they are. So our archers know what to do. Alright, the spear units are coming up. Let's move out. If we can chase them towards a the fire, let's, let's have some fire in the rain. There we go. Wait till they engage. We got a really solid front line anyways. Imperial defenders, nothing to really be concerned about. Powers doing work this whole time. Ooh, poison vipers up close. That's what, what we were kind of worried about right there. Alright, clean that up. Chase them away. Ah, the fire is doing stuff. Alright, we'll take care of this one. I knew you guys were going to change your mind. Ah, sorry, you don't get to have any fun. Uncle Drawian specializes in dueling. Wait, I I said yes to that. What are you doing? We're out of arrows on some of these. Wait, why are you not shooting this whole time? That's weird. All right, we don't need you to boost them anymore. Join the fun over here. Couple cavalry. We need we need our cavalry to actually chase some of these range units around. Yes, I get a duel. Alright, gonna make dad proud. See if I can get. No, Dosa doesn't want to do anything. I'm just gonna go fight him. They got shredded by those poison. I think we wiped everyone just waiting on him. Is he strong? Or is she strong? Two good abilities though. Could be a little rough, but I think we got this. You know, if we ever drop down, we could be a little bit faster. <laughs> we can't help. We just gotta watch. Oh! No! No, 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 no! Whoever killed that general made a big mistake. Actually, we should be chasing. There's a follow-up fight here. It's a garrison battle. Don't let them off the hook. Oh, Guanping. I'm sorry. She got a damage boost, 70% 70 70 damage boost, and 10% melee evasion. I don't think he can win this now, but... I mean, if he can... Good for him. I'm, I'm seeing this here. It's okay. I don't understand why he didn't shoot. Something got... Maybe... Maybe Huang Zhong stood too close to him? I don't know. I 
I don't know. One ping. Armor is very high. He's pulling out. Like, he's doing great. Dad should be proud of him. Look at that. He swung it back. Alright, we're gonna cinematic mode this, so we don't know what the health is. It looks like we have the upper hand with all the moves. Oh, that used ability. Looks like she missed though. Our attack rate just went, just like disappeared. That's a warning that we are low health. But we're gonna see it through. Oh! It's my fault! Get her. Ah. I mean, Guanpin did well with all these abilities that she had. I mean, if he picks up a wounded trait, it'd be a badge of honor. Alright, none of our business. Third visit, we have picked up the Sleeping Dragon. We return for a third time to the Cottage of the Sleeping Dragon. This time he's at home, but asleep. Determined to speak to him, you patiently wait for him to rise, though at first he refuses. You manage to persuade him of the importance of his counsel, and he agrees to help you. And we have who got out. Ah, the fan is not equipped at the beginning. Interesting. But we get all these awesome bonuses in addition to the typical uh, range boost because this is TUP with the mod. Comes to level 7, extremely powerful, humble to make sure there's no desire for higher office, Burnt to get all the bonuses. We'll be shifting him into one of our armies quickly. Um, so that we can continue the march, or maybe, yeah, I think we will shift them into the the army here. Guanping can take a break. Did not pick up a wounded trait, so all is good. We'll have Guanping with the father uh, pretty soon. Rugadan will take over the southern expansion into the Yi province. Historically speaking, Rugadan stays in the Jin province with Guan Yu. And Pangtong was the one who was leading the charge down south. So we might do that arrangement as well. You know, Pangtong's death is what brought Zhuge down into the Yi province and left Guan Yu without a strategist at home. So we'll see what we do there. I don't know what Dongmin's armies are doing. They're just bleeding away over here. Like all of them are down here near us, even though we're not at war. Let's go away. Um, but yeah, situation's good. We got our strategists, the Sleeping Dragon and the Fledgling Phoenix. And we have most of the kids on the table. Uh, our son is still growing. He's seven. He's getting there. And we know that uh, Guan Xing is going to come of age eventually as well. And Zhang Bao should also come of age. So two more kids joining the force. Those should be, you know, our characters. We have a army issue, but that can be solved with either reforms or tearing up. Capturing more land would obviously help. And we're in the process of doing that. So until next time. Bye.